What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Two Minute Drill. Well, if you caught it yesterday, we said if we get a 400 test and break, where are we going? 403 went right to there this morning. <clears throat> Then had a very decent pullback, but still closed above the 400 level, which I think is very relevant for bulls to stay in control. Most definitely. I do want to make note really quick before we dive into the plan for tomorrow. Is one thing that has capped every single bear market rally thus far outside the trend line outside the 200 day is the 50 MA purple dotted line. Take a look here, right? Once we got below it, we had a failure. Okay. Had a second failure failure we had a failure here now we're approaching it again i mean literally 402 on the button closed you know the, i think today's high was 402 and some change almost pretty much 403 right 40265 perfect now not a reject that huge red candle down but it's noteworthy to say that we are floating near a huge level that has defined all of 2022 for the most part as a rejection at the 50 ma excuse me on the weekly so What's my plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow, I wouldn't mind seeing a dip at all. Why? We've had a huge, two huge trend days, right? Last Friday, then till today, continuation. That's great. Um, on multiple time frames, like uh, four hour, one hour, you know, the 30 minute for a while, we cooled off there, but we were massively overbought. So do we get a pullback tomorrow? It's possible. Why else do I think we could get a pullback? We have the second largest weighted stock on the S&P 500 reporting earnings tomorrow after the bell, Microsoft. So if you're going to be playing that, if you're in the Wolves of Wealth community, that will be our go-to play tomorrow. Don't even know if we're going to touch SPY. Microsoft will be the play. Guys uh, that are in the Wolves of Wealth, I'll post some stuff a little bit later about how I want to play it. Um, but for tomorrow, you will look at this. Okay, you will look at this. If we possibly get a gap up or whatever, I'd want to take a look at a rejection of the previous day's high. Okay, at this 403 level, I would definitely want to see if we get a rejection there. I would want to take puts. Now, I also want to think, hey, where could we where could we pull back to that would be healthy? Right. Well, if I take Friday's low to the today's high, right? These two trend days up, you could see a 50% retracement is at 395. Today's low was where? 392. Oh, whatever this low is. I can't even see. But anyway, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be out of the realm to have a possible pullback, right? Sub 400 again. Okay, so I'd be looking at the 395, 96 level. Okay, 393 is down there at 61.8. Just some levels you want to put on par for tomorrow just to know that they are there. Okay, <clears throat> as far as longing, I, you know, I like where this 50% was happens to be today's low as well. That's perfect for me. I would like to take 395, 96 for a possible bounce long or a 403 rejection on a double top as long as we don't gap up above it, obviously. OK, uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. I think we could get a nice dip and possible rip. Uh, we are super extended off the 5MA and we do know it's the blue dotted line here. We do know uh, that when we get extended from it, we do like to come back to it every single time. Pretty much you see. Let's take a look right here uh, back to 1214. We got super extended from it, came back to it. Right. We popped up for two trend or two, you know, two updates came back to it, went up for two more days and ended up coming back to it, right? So same thing down here. We went below it and came back to it. Now we've gone above it. Do we possibly come back to it here? It's also where the 200-day moving average is as well, right? Not a bad not a bad place for us to break out of the 200-day, maybe come back and, and uh, retest it. So I'd be looking at 395 area for a nice long scalp, okay? Just know that Microsoft is reporting tomorrow. Also, uh, manufacturing P uh, PMI, flash PMI, whatever they call it, comes out 15 minutes after open, 945 Eastern Standard Time. So if you're getting a trade before that, that's short dated, know that that can really screw your premiums up. Okay. Um, other than that, guys, that's all I got. Looking for a double top rejection, 402, for, rarely 403, um, and maybe take a call bounce at 395, 96. Okay. Um, know that you got the manufacturing PMI, uh, flash PMI, 15 minutes into open, and you have Microsoft after close. And of course, don't do anything stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.